and welcome to the Shipper Update here with Tony Mulvey. We're going to look at GDP. Big numbers came out this week. Break it down for us. Yeah, so GDP came out yesterday down 1.4%, right? And that headline number is scary, especially if you look back. So we've got our GDP chart here. We've seen kind of steady, I mean, you've seen steady positive mm -hmm. growth. So this is the last five years. Then you see COVID, basically, where you see very rapid deterioration mm -hmm. in that growth, actually turning negative. But then you follow it up immediately with this strong growth. And it, it really, lo that looks like what you saw in the trucking market, right? You saw volumes collapse, but then in that second quarter, third quarter, really start to accelerate. Mm -hmm. And it kind of follows the trend, right? It does. Now, GDP, you have to remember, it's about two thirds consumption, right? I mean, that personal consumer mm -hmm. consumption. Two thirds of that is what forms kind of your GDP. And most of that typically in the past has been services heavy and really COVID brought mm -hmm. a kind of a shift into goods, right? Well, now we're kind of transitioning back. I mean, inside of that personal consumption, you're really, even in the headlines of GDP said that you're seeing an increase in spending in services, right? And less in goods, in goods, right? Because yeah. that mix, and it's roughly two thirds services, one third goods. Mm -hmm. You know, it could be seventy thirty, uh, but that shift a little bit, maybe by five percent. So if it was uh, sixty six thirty three, it went from to, to about thirty eight to sixty one. Yeah. You know, it was a slight, but everything happens on the march, and it was enough to to give a bull run to the the, the trucking sector. Since that is moving back to its traditional historical norms, you're going to see less truckload volumes and uh, not necessarily GDP, but I, th I think one of the, the big GDP movers were, was, was inflation. Yeah, I mean, it's, inflation is definitely a huge impact, right? Especially when you kind of think of where we're at, both on the producer and consumer side. I mean, mm -hmm. we're talking 10% on the producer side year over year and yeah. eight and a half percent on the consumer side, it's really kind of squeezing at both ends, right? It, it's really pinching those pennies. And well, again, GDP doesn't always track freight perfectly. It's not like a one-to-one -one mm -hmm. tracker. The freight market kind of tells you what's going on, at least in the good side of the business. It does. And what's interesting, we had Amazon, right? We've talked about it a lot recently, report mm -hmm. earnings yesterday. We talked about kind of how e-commerce is really, which was a, a driver of freight demand, mm -hmm. has really cooled off recently. Amazon and it's was what, uh, minus 3%? Minus 3% year over year in net online sales. Guess what? Those numbers aren't adjusted for inflation. No. So what you're seeing is like, the squeeze really is on on the e-commerce side. It's, when that's been driving freight demand, primarily, it's not a necessarily a good thing moving forward. It, it, it's not, and what it tells me is that when the inventory numbers come out, we'll, we'll start seeing a lot of inventory numbers. We're going to see an inventory overhang as, you know, in and we don't have a trucking chart, chart up, but, you know, the, the last half of especially 2021, you had panic buying. You had high inflation, the PPI, uh, but you had panic buying, you know, with all the port congestions and the uncertainties of timing and demand. You had uh, you, you had panic buying by corporations, Amazon maybe being one of those as well, to get stuff on the shelves. And now that demand has slowed down, we are going to see inventories built. Yeah, and it's not just that. I mean, they. Overhired. I mean, you start looking at their operating expense and operating income in North America, like sale, I mean, it's negative growth. I mean, it's negative year over year, that operating income. And it's because they had to hire to keep up with everything that we've seen. And now they have too many, almost too many employees. And guess what? It's squeezing those margins. It's squeezing those margins and, and, and this really tight labor market super tight labor market, just like the trucking market, might churn on a dime as well. And that's one of the indications, one of the, the hottest hiring jobs, you know, uh, with inventory, retail, or retail, wholesale, all of that. Yeah. We have this print of negative 1.4%. We still, still have high inflation. Could we see two consecutive quarters? I, I think so. I mean, if you look at the impacts that we're seeing in Shanghai, right? I mean, those mm -hmm. really started, the lockdowns there, I mean, you think about how much freight and imports come from China. 
we basically, I mean, we're seeing it. it they're, I mean, shipments are down, what, 50% off their, yeah. I mean, we're talking COVID-like levels, right? And now we're going to see, I mean, we don't know when it's reopening is the, I think the bigger we, issue. We and don't. guess what? That's another driver in this GDP number. And it's another not, driver in the GDP, GDP number. And we do know that the definition of a recession is an economic quarters. recession is two consecutive quarters. So we will be looking out, but let's take a quick break and then we'll come back with some more action from FreightWaves now.